morning i am ms bhushan lecturer in english today we shall learn the intermediate first year extensive reading or non detailed reading lessons in 2018 the textbook has been changed the first year textbook has been changed and coming to the first extensive reading lesson engine trouble is written by r k narayan the last leaf by o henry the immaculate child by munshi premchand translated by p c kai will he come home by p sachivathi translated by v padmavathi the informer a one act play by bettol bets for the given two or three questions in this non detailed lessons i have prepared an answer in such a manner that the entire keywords or the phrases have been used so that the student can present this answer for two or three questions given in that lesson that means the quintessence of the entire story has been presented in one answer instead of listening to some rubbish music or songs the student can utilize the, their time in such a manner that they can put their earphones and can listen to this for 10 or 15 minutes thank you i wish you all the best now coming to the intermediate first year extensive reading or non detailed reading there are five lessons in this extensive reading now the first one is engine trouble by r k narayan last leaf o henry the immaculate child munshi premchand translated by p c ghai will he come home p sachivathi translated by v padmavathi the informer one act play by bettol brech the first extensive reading or the non detailed lesson is engine trouble by r k narayan given account of the series of troubles the narrator experienced in the wake of winning a road engine the narrator said nature the narrator said nature came to my rescue in an unexpected manner how did nature help the narrator get rid of his troubles Rasipuram Krishna Swami Narayan wrote the short story Engine Trouble. He was born in Madras. His short stories are known for the extreme simplicity of his plots and characters which revolve around the lives and hopes of average middle and lower class Indians. His stories are set in an imaginary town called Malgudi. The most characteristic tone of his short stories is a gentle irony. Ironic Ironic reversal sometimes throws light on human psychology. He won the Sahitya Academy Award in 1960. The narrator wins a road engine at the Gaiety show in Jinkana grounds. People gather around him and look at with wonder. The narrator feels thrilled at winning such a rare prize. But this prize proves to be a problem for him. He can neither shift the road engine to his house nor use it for any good. rental for the ground drains the meager amount that the narrator has pressure to vacate the ground he hires the temple elephant 50 men to push the engine and an engine driver named joseph to move the road engine the elephant drags it one way joseph steers the engine to the other way and the 50 men push it in whichever the way they like it As a result of this confused dragging the engine runs straight into the opposite compound wall the narrator is put in jail later he finds an unexpected relief in the in the form of a swami ji who comes to the town to perform various yogic feats one such feat is letting a road engine run over his chest the narrator is happy to lend the engine for the feat Suddenly a police officer comes with the magistrate's order to stop the show. The narrator is upset and decides to leave the town. Luckily nature comes to his rescue in an unexpected manner. An earthquake shakes the area. The engine falls into a disused well and fits like a cork. The owner of the well is happy because the well with dirty water is closed free of charge. He thanks the narrator and pays him a good amount. He also withdraws pending charges against the narrator. Thus nature relieves him of all the troubles caused by the road engine. Paradoxically, 
a natural calamity that claims a great loss to many comes as a stroke of luck for the narrator and solves all his problems now coming to the second extensive reading or second non detail lesson the last leaf by o henry how is the last leaf by o henry a story of hope friendship and sacrifice justify the statement a diseased mind is even more harmful than the actual disease itself with reference to o henry's the last leaf for these two questions this is the answer William Sidney Porter is known by his pen name O Henry. He is an American short story writer whose short stories are known for wit, wordplay and clever surprise endings. The short story The Last Leaf written by O Henry tells the story of an old artist who sacrifices his life to save a young artist dying of pneumonia. John C and Sue are young artists. They are good friends. They live in Greenwich Village. An old artist, Bergman, lives below their flat. He is not successful in his profession, but he is confident that he will paint a masterpiece some day. He is protective of the two young girls. John C has fallen ill and suffers from pneumonia. She watches the leaves fall from a vine outside the window of her room. She believes that when the last leaf falls she too will die. She tells Bahman about John C's notion. Bahman laughs at her fancy. That night a very bad storm comes. Sue closes the curtains and tells John C to go to sleep. She doesn't want John C to see the last leaf fall. In the morning John C opens the window thinking that all the leaves are gone. To her surprise there is still one leaf left she regains she regains her will to live in fact the vine has lost all its leaves due to the storm in fact the vine has lost all its leaves due to the storm what john c sees is the masterpiece painted by bahman but behman contracts pneumonia while painting the last leaf in the stormy night he dies the next day thus the last leaf proves to be the story of hope friendship compassion commitment and sacrifice now coming to the third short story or extensive reading or non detail lesson the immaculate child by premchand sketch the character of gangu Just by the title of the story, the Immaculate Child. <coughs> the Immaculate Child is written by Premchand, whose actual name is Dhanpat Rai. He has written a dozen novels and nearly two hundred and fifty short stories. The story, the Immaculate Child, contains various issues of Indian society and psychological aspects of Indian mindset. The narrator is a generous rich man. Gangu is his servant. He is an illiterate <coughs> he is an illiterate brahmin who thinks he is superior among all the servants because he is brahmin. He doesn't have any bad habits. The rigid mentality of Gangu irritates his master again and again, but he is not much affected. One day Gangu tells the narrator <coughs> One day Gangu tells the narrator that he wants to leave the job. He is going to marry Gomati Devi, a widow with whom he is in love. All believe that she betrayed three husbands in the past and is low in character. But Gangu's opinion is different. The narrator tries to stop but Gangu is firm in his decision. The narrator assumes that Gomati Devi will deceive Gangu. and both of them will be separated very soon but on the contrary they live happily once gomati runs away from home the narrator chuckle for his prediction the narrator chuckles for his prediction the narrator chuckles for his prediction become true gangu is upset but still has faith in her 
After one month, Gangu comes to the narrator again. He has a newborn baby in his hand. He is extremely happy. He searches and finds Gomati. She runs away because she is going to be a mother and Gangu is not the father of that child. But Gangu accepts the child as a gift of the God. Finally, seeing Gangu's generosity, the narrator is touched and offers his blessings to the baby. <coughs> Thus, the child is a symbol of immaculate love between Gangu and Gomati. The immaculate child is an eye-opener to the narrow and orthodox religious-minded people. Now coming to the fourth nointy lesson or extensive reading. Will he come home by P. Satyavati? Why did Vizya panic? Describe her reaction and anxiety about the missing of her son who had not returned home from college. How did the people in olden days show concern for social values? Ex explain the light of the story. Explain in the light of the story. Will he come home? With four novels, three anthologies to her credit, P. Sachavati made her mark in Telugu literature with her prize. With her prize-winning story, Glass Paglindi. With four novels, three anthologies to her credit, P. Satyavati made her mark in Telugu literature with her prize-winning story, Glass of Pagalindi, in 1977. The stories revolve around the lives of women who search for identity, empowerment, empowerment and space, making her one of the leading feminist writers in Telugu. The present story, Will He Come Home, highlights the anxiety and irrational thinking prevailing in the present day society vijaya is the mother in a typical vijaya is the mother in a typical middle class family she develops negative and bad thoughts she becomes panicky and nervous about why her son has not returned from college at his usual time she enquires his friends if they know about his whereabouts she has imagined that her son is in danger her mobile his mobile phone is switched off. Many crimes, many crime scenes shown in the television daily series have haunted her, like murders, accidents, and robberies, etc. She has feared that something might have happened to her son as shown in serials. She has not eaten anything and has been praying to the Lord Venkateswara for the safe return of her son. On the other hand, her grandmother Savitrama is not much worried. She tries to comfort Vijaya that nothing untoward will happen to her son. But Vijaya does not stop crying. The story ends in, sus ends in suspense whether the boy has returned or not. The underlying theme of the story is whether he returns to the old system of values. Will he think about the society? Now coming to the fifth lesson, fifth short story or non tale. Uh, this is actually a one-act play. The Informer by Informer by Bertolt Brecht. Is the title The Informer appropriate? Give an account of the parents' reactions to the boy's disappearance from the house. How does Bertolt bring? How does Bertolt bring out the comic effects? out of a seemingly tense situation. The informer is written by Bertolt Brecht, who is a German playwright and poet. One act plays like short stories are brief and compact with one act. Usually these plays deal with the problems of everyday life and take one particular episode to bring about a single effect. This one act play is about a family during the period of Hitler as a chancellor and it has unique comedy issuing from the tragic and oppressive conditions in fascist Germany. It is an incisive portrayal of the psychology of a schoolmaster and his wife 
in an atmosphere surcharged with her surcharged with fear distrust and suspicion the whole play consists of a running dialogue between the man and his wife triggered off by a telephone ring from certain friends from certain friends desiring to call on them and the maids tutor reply that they are not at home the dialogue sparks off a heated argument when each expression from the husband on the <coughs> the dialogue sparks off a heated argument when each expression from the husband on the reins the priest trials the brown house or the concentration camps is subjected to construction which is smack of uh, is subjected to construction which is, which is a smack of anti hitler postures they begin to doubt each other's credentials when they suddenly notice the disappearance of their school going son they suspect their son of being an informer to the german gestapo they convince themselves that their son drafted as a member of the hitler youth club when there is a knock at the door the couple trembles with fear they think that they will be arrested like the father of walter hess who was a hitler youth to their surprise the boy comes in with a bag of chocolates he had bought with the 10 cents given earlier by his mother throughout the tense and fear ridden exercise has an undertone of ironic and grotesque humor so with this we have completed five non detail lessons or extensive reading lessons please sus- please watch and subscribe ss bhushan on youtube <coughs> thank you for your kind cooperation